What's going on everybody? Honda Bro Jason here in a DC5 with my friend Ariel. How are you? Hi. Uh, I want to take just a moment and talk to you guys about all the rumors coming out of Swindon about the plant closing. Uh, nothing confirmed yet. But Unfortunately guys, I have an update. I just made that video yesterday and today Honda officially announces the closing of the Swindon plant HUM in UK. And this is sad. That plant has 3,500 workers. They made the Civic Type R for the world. They were the only manufacturer for the Civic Type R in the world and the Civic Hatchback. Now, Turkey also made the Civic Hatchback and Honda has also announced that they're closing the Turkey plant as well. They're claiming that they're doing this because of the push to electrification and that since Swindon was such a small plant, they're taking most of their money and time and energy, putting it in North America and into Japan. I've spent all morning reading articles and watching videos on why people think they're closing the plant in Swindon. Honda's official statement says that they're closing the plant due to a push towards electrification for the customers and because of government. This does not have anything to do with Brexit or diesel cars. In fact, Swindon isn't even producing diesel cars right now. So officially from Honda, this is a push towards electrification, and that's the main reason why they're closing the plant. It's sad because I've been to the UK plant. I've met the people of Swindon. I watched my own Civic Type R being built there. I shook their hands, I congratulated them, and they were so proud, so proud to work on that vehicle, and so proud that they were the ones doing it for the world. And this is not just the workers. This will affect the entire town of Swindon. It's sad. UK manufacturing started there back in 1986 and they were doing pre-delivery inspections. And then they started engine producing in 89 and building cars in 92. They've built over 3.5 million cars for the world. Every year they produce about 150,000 vehicles just to be 100% clear, they are the only production facility for the Civic Type R. So what does this mean for the Civic Type R production? They're closing the plant 2021, which is the end of the cycle for the Civic. 11th generation Civic Type R, unless Honda finds another place to produce it, might not exist. So they produced 98% of all the Civic hatchbacks and 100% of all the Civic Type Rs for the world. It's unclear right now if production numbers are gonna stay up until 2021, if they'll drop, if they'll continue making the Civic Type R. These are all questions they haven't answered yet. And then there's a question about their race team, Synchro Motorsports. This is a team built on factory workers with the support from Honda in the UK. They have built some of the best, fastest, most insane cars the world has ever seen. Synchro Motorsports didn't just build amazing track cars and race them. They also engineered and built some very interesting vehicles using current Honda projects. If you guys remember a few years back, they took a Civic wagon from the UK and they made it into a Type R, swapping the engine and the interior and everything over. Also, just last year, they took the current Type R, the FK8, and they turned it into a pickup truck. That was them at Synchro Motorsports. That's what they do. Personal friends of mine, and I hope that the team will figure out a way to keep going on because the world needs more Honda race cars. But sincerely, my thoughts are out to everyone in Swindon, everyone in the city, everyone that works for Honda. It was a pleasure to meet you all. I wish you all the best. And for the enthusiasts and the Honda dealerships on the world, I know Honda has a plan. Honda always has a plan. I know they're pushing towards electrification, but they work so hard to get the Civic Type R and the hatchback here to America that I am sure that they will figure out somewhere else to build these vehicles. Guys, I am not happy to bring this news, but sometimes not all the news is amazing. As always though, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.